So you have decided to take the NSC4 exam. Now, what do you do? How do you practice? What do you need to know? Well, in this coming video, we will look at the best tips to make you prepared. Coming up. The first tip is to be practical. Leave aside the dumps, leave aside the study guides, head over to a Fortinet support site, download one of the VM images of the latest builds, open it in your browser of choice and start playing around. Create new interfaces, configure the different services on that interface. Create new policies. Even if you don't have any other machine to play around, think or dream of different use cases, such as anyone in your LAN is forbidden to use FTP traffic beside a specific device. How do you configure that policy? How do you create a firewall object of that device? So think around and play around with different use cases. The third thing, play around with security profiles. Configure new profiles, understand how they work and apply them to your policies. Apply them to your policies and understand how they actually work, either in a flow-based or a proxy-based inspection mode. The theory behind those two is crucial to understanding how the security profiles work. The second tip is understand the terms. Head over to your command line. Diaxis session list. Now, once you do so, you see in the output so many terms that may be frightening at the first time. What is proto number six? What is state number six? What does it mean origin shaper? What is the serial of that session? What is an NPU? Get around with the terms understand how sessions work on your 48. Your 48 is a session aware firewall. Understand the different numbering for different protocols. TCP protocol is protocol number six. The UDP protocol is protocol number 17. ICMP is protocol number one. Each have different states, understand the numbering. And you will see more, more terms such as fail open or made dirty. Many terms that you need to walk over in, in the Fortinet documentation, understand them since you will probably, in the exam itself, you will probably see outputs with the following terms. Understanding the basic actually means that you need to know how different components on your FortiGate actually work. If you play around with an antivirus, you have different databases. Let's just clear the screen. Configure antivirus settings. Now you can set the different databases using the command line. Are those databases being downloaded locally to your FortiGate or are you using any cloud repository? The same goes for web filter. If you're creating a new profile, you have the FortiGuard category based filter. Is that a database that is being downloaded or is it a cloud repository? 
Another example is the routing table. If you look at the routing table using the CLI with the get router info routing table all, does it have precedence over the policy route? Or maybe the policy route have precedence over the regular routing table. So these are the basics. Understand them as you will probably have some questions related to those topics. In your exam, you will probably face some network troubleshooting questions. So look very closely at the topology that is shown. Look at the different IP addresses. Look at the subnets. Look at the classes. Try to understand if that topology makes sense. You will probably face also some outputs, such as the Diag debug flow or the Diag sniffer packet analyze what is the reason it may be a networking issue it may be a policy issue it may be that you just don't have any static route to the destination so look around closely and understand the topology before answering We tend to forget, but your FortiGate can actually work in a transparent mode and act as a switch, a device with only one broadcast domain, its management IP. So you can set the op mode, the operation mode, either to NAT, that is a layer three device, or to a transparent, which is a layer two device. We will be asked questions regarding to VLANs. You will be asked questions regarding to virtual wire pair. You will be asked questions regarding your FortiGate as an appliance that sits between two segments of the network. It doesn't do any routing, but it only scans the traffic that passes through. So know your way when your 48 works in a transparent mode as a layer two device only. Your 48 is part of a security fabric with multiple components that are on the network itself. You will not have to answer questions regarding 40 Analyzer or 40 Manager. Those are different components and have their own certification. But you will need to understand how load balancing works. What is an SD1, a software defined when, how to prioritize traffic based on load balancing algorithms or based on different SLAs service level agreements that you create. You will also need to know what is an HA. An HA high availability is the way that you actually create a redundant 40 gate along with your primary 40 gate. You can create it either in an active active mode or active passive mode. Understand the priority of creating a master 48 and a slave 48 understand how sessions are distributed be between those components remember that your 48 is a network device and as such it will have its load balancing and redundancy algorithms in place which you need to excel in One of the main rules or main jobs that your FortiGate does is to authenticate users while entering the network. Now, you will need to understand how a user is created, how to connect to a remote authentication server such as LDAP or Radius. What is a single sign-on? How do you create a proxy? 
What is an explicit proxy and what is a transparent proxy? How do you transfer your proxy settings using a pack file? What is an authentication rule? Understand the aim of authentication. Understand what does it take to authenticate different users using passive authentication or active authentication. Those will be probably asked throughout the exam. Be sure to understand the whole nature of authentication fully.